Welcome guys to Talk Football with Tyrone and welcome to our video today. In today's video, we'll be conducting a comprehensive player analysis of Moises Caicedo, the highly rated defensive midfielder currently playing for Brighton of Albion. We are going to see how he plays and his tactical analysis. So Chelsea under the management of Mauricio Pochettino is considering a big money move for Caicedo ranging between 80 to 90 million British pounds. So let's dive into the tactical analysis and understand his attacking and defensive attributes. Caicedo plays as a defensive midfielder and he plays in a two at Brighton. This is how he will pair up at Chelsea playing alongside Enzo Fernandes. One key facet of Caicedo is his ability to be dropping in defense to cover spaces allowing his fullbacks to surge up high up the field. He will occupy the right defensive midfield position in a Pochettino system whereby he'll be able to drop at a temporary right back position when Rhys James advances to attack. Another key facet of Caicedo is his positional awareness and he knows when to go back to midfield and prevent central progression of the ball. This happens when the fullback drops back to play in its usual position. His other key strength is his ability to drop deep during build-up and give centre-backs and the goalkeeper options for a pass while building play from the back when the team is under pressure. And this is a key facet since we know Brighton are one of the best ball-playing teams. He is also a good passer and is able to pick runners once he receives the ball. Now, we have videos that we have produced like the second part of Manchester City's treble winning team, Sir Alex Ferguson's Man United team and other exclusive videos that are yet to be posted on the public channel. We have live Q&As and live streams and podcasts where we invite our various viewers to come and participate in. Click the link in the description area below to join our Patreon channel. Before we continue, like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. One key facet of Caicedo is his ability to position himself in midfield to receive the ball from his centre-backs. This reveals pressure from his centre-back and enables him to receive the ball, link up with his second midfielder to progress the ball upfield. This inside position limits the opposition press and as we see the way Brighton like to play, Caicedo is a key facet in ball progression. Interceptions. Moises Caicedo defensive skill enable him to intercept opposition passes averaging 1.61 interceptions per 90. His key facet is his tackling. Caicedo's tackling prowess is impressive. With an average 2.87 tackles per 90, he possesses an excellent timing technique enabling him to win possession back for his team and halt opposition's progression with the ball. He likes to slide tackle and he likes to make blind side tackles the way N'Golo Kante used to make at Chelsea. And this is one of the key strengths that Caicedo possesses.
Being a holding midfielder, it is a key facet for Casedo to have excellent passing prowess. He contributes to his team attacking play. He makes 6.28 progressive passes per 90 and this enables his team to move forward with the ball and enables him to increase his finishing. Another key facet that he possesses is his dribbling ability. He makes 0.8 successful dribbles per 90, enabling him to navigate through tight spaces and bypass opposition players, providing an added dimension to his game. Being a player who is constantly under pressure in midfield, it is key for him to be able to dribble past these opponents and this enables him to progress with the ball high up the pitch. Caicedo provides additional defensive contribution. He averages 0.89 clearances per 90, showcasing his ability to clear the ball off danger dangerous areas on the pitch, relieving pressure from his defenders and his fellow teammates. In conclusion, Caicedo has impressive defensive skills set with combined and notable attacking attributes making him an exciting prospect for Chelsea. We'd like to see how Pochettino deploys him with the likes of Enzo Fernandez in midfield to improve Chelsea's midfield problem. If you stayed with us till the end of the video, thanks for watching.